Hey everyone, this is Leanne from Of Love and Ship Lab and the founder of Sub That Tutorials and More. I want to give you a look inside of the new 365 social media content calendar for craft businesses. Now I designed this calendar to be used as part of our social media private coaching group that is a paid group that you have the option to join. If you're in that group, you'll get you know one-on-one -on -one feedback, weekly examples of how I'm structuring my content for both the sub that accounts and the of love and ship lap accounts because that's two different target audiences. Um, and you can kind of like get feedback and get social media audits and things like that. So all of that's part of our coaching group. But I did want to make the calendar available for those who are more self-sufficient or maybe being part of another group isn't for you. Maybe it's not within your budget. So that is where this calendar comes into play. Now, this calendar is made up of some good basic information to understand social media marketing and how it works for small businesses. And it is designed specifically for those of us who are in the craft business space. Now, when I say craft business space, I mean, if you sell digital designs, if you do tutorials, if you sell handmade products of any type from clay earrings and ceramics to sublimation items to vinyl, and also those who provide services um, or supplies such as sublimation blanks, um, embroidering services, laser engraving services, and so on. This is just specifically designed with the idea of needing small businesses to be able to connect with the right audience to actually buy their products. So I wanted to put this together because one, it's for our, our, our uh, private coaching group to give us the best leverage to be successful going into 2024 and 2025, but also because so often what we're seeing right now is people who are stepping back and saying, oh, my sales have just tanked. No one is buying anything. And you immediately think that it's your product. And I'm not saying that every product is perfect because there may be room to improve your product. But the reality is, is that there is no shortage of customers. But if your marketing is solely focused on the people who are in your immediate vicinity, the people who are your friends and family only, um, or you're just not actually marketing, you're only trying to sell your product, then you are going to find that, yeah, you're missing the mark. You're not getting the sales that you want to. Selling and marketing are two different things. Selling is when you see a commercial on TV of your local car dealership that's like, look, we got all these cars. Come on down, buy them today. That is selling. And that's what a lot of craft businesses do. We're so busy promoting our product that we forget to actually work on marketing our product and connecting with our audience. I'm guilty of falling, falling into those slumps as well. It's not like I do it perfectly. I don't think anyone really does it perfectly because the people who do it perfectly are the big corporations that hire people who are marketing professionals to do all of the work and get it right every single time. So since we're just working with what we got, we wanna have a good structure that's easy to follow and easy to be successful with, that if we're just consistent, we can see the results. So marketing is about helping your customer connect with your business and with you and helping them see themselves in their products. I love using the example of car dealerships because that's something everyone has likely seen. So local car dealerships, you'll always notice that their commercials are all about selling. But a car brand or manufacturer's commercials are all about marketing. When you see a commercial for any vehicle, it is trying to depict the lifestyle of their ideal customer base. It's looking to show you like, look, your farm could just use this pickup truck. Your lifestyle would really benefit from this SUV. You've got a bunch of kids. We have got a car for that. You'll notice that it's never sitting there saying, you should buy this. It's trying to influence you to see the benefits of it, to see yourself in it. Now, we're all being influenced all of the time because we're in this influencer era, and there are a lot of pros and cons with that. 
unfortunately, consumer spending tends to get a little muddied because people are being influenced to buy stuff that they don't necessarily need. But because people are already active and actively engaging in influential marketing, it is the best time for craft businesses and small businesses in general to start leveraging that. Start leveraging that people are on social media and they're looking to connect with individuals and they're looking to connect beyond your product. They're looking to talk about themselves and get to know you. And that's what this content calendar is really about. So let's have a look at it. So it starts off with just like a brief blurb about how to use this content calendar. So as I mentioned, this um, this will be covered like week to week, so much more in depth in our social media private coaching group. So if you happen to pay to join that group, you get this automatically and you'll get to see every week how I'm putting things together. You'll get to ask questions about your own business, get some feedback on your own posts, um, and like you'll just have like a more tailored in-depth type of response. But if that's not for you, again, that's why I'm making the calendar available. I want people to be able to have access to it on a budget that works for them. You can follow both the Sub That US and of Love and Ship Lab Instagram accounts to actually see how I'm putting this content together um, each day. Like you'll see my posts to give you an idea of how I use that calendar to create my own post for two different demographics, the demographic of individuals who buys digital designs and the demographic of individuals who are um, looking for tutorials and learning. And I'm, you know, trying to promote the mobile app and whatnot for. So a lot of times that does cross over, but it's still two different target audiences in its own, in its own right. So I just kind of give a little blurb here saying exactly what I said, which is that so often crafters make the mistake of focusing too much on selling and not enough on building that connection and relatability with their audience. So all the post ideas throughout this calendar are designed to engage, inform, entertain, inspire, and involve your followers because that's what builds connection. And then in addition to what's on this calendar, you should always be sharing your own sales posts, which that's probably what you're already doing. You're probably regularly showing a video of your product, a sale, a sale post about your products um, and talking about your product. So you've got that part in the bag. This is about making sure that your entire bag is not selling, that it's actually marketing. Your business content structure should be 20% selling posts, 80% everything else because that's what keeps people engaged. That's what keeps people coming back. That's what keeps people actively involved with your business so that when the time does come to buy, they're seeing you. Remember that everything on social media is all about engagement. So if your audience isn't engaging with you, then they're going to miss your posts. And also, if they're not engaging with you, your posts are not going to reach for their audience. So I kind of go into that next. I talk about the different um, the different types of posts, and this is going to be relevant to uh, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. These are the three main platforms for social media marketing. Of course, there's also Pinterest, but that is a completely different thing. Pinterest is all about the ideas. So you can pin your products, you can pin resources, you can do all of that stuff with Pinterest. Um, that's a very passive uh, not really building a connection type of marketing. So it is a little bit different. Now you'll notice that nothing in here talks about Facebook groups. And um, because those of you who are seeing this may not be in our uh, social media coaching group, um, you may not be aware that Facebook groups are really on the decline. You've probably seen that in your own experience, especially if you do run a Facebook group. All of the changes that Facebook has made have just drastically hindered groups Um, It's so hard to get our audience engaged. And I end up with people every single week who are sending me messages being like, I've missed so many tutorials. I didn't know that this was going on. I've missed this, that, and the other thing. And it's just because of how the algorithm has changed. Um, Facebook groups, I don't believe are ever going to come back to their former glory, which is really unfortunate because a lot of handmade businesses, a lot of digital designers, a lot of those of us in the craft space have relied on groups for so long. And it gets, you know, really disheartening and really frustrating and discouraging to see all of that hard work from the last couple of years be on this rapid decline for the last two years because of those changes. So I don't recommend Facebook groups at all. This is 
one of the reasons why we created the Sub That Mobile Learning app. Um, I wanted all of our tutorials and community to be in a space where you guys can actually have it on your phone, stream it to your TV, watch it on your laptop, whatever you want to do, but you have all of that right in the palm of your hands and it's so much easier to navigate, so much easier to find information. You can one-on-one -on -one message me, like all of that stuff is built into our app. And the big reason why is because we have so much of our members who are missing out on everything that's going on in the group. And that breaks my heart because I want you guys to be successful. I want you guys to know how to make products, know how to market products, know how to market your business. My number one priority when I started this Facebook group was to create a space that actually taught people how to be successful with their business across the board how to change trajectory, how to pivot, how to incorporate other services, all of it. Like that has been my focus point from the beginning. That's what I've always done. That's what everything we do is built around because I'm so invested in your success. So this um, content plan does focus on those three main options. So your Facebook pages for your business, your Instagram accounts for your business. If you happen to have TikTok, TikTok as well. I don't personally use TikTok. That's why I don't have a, um, a TikTok thing. But next, you're going to move into this nice little graphics here that gives you an understanding of how the algorithm works. And this applies to Instagram, Facebook pages, uh, and TikTok. It all works the same way. So you'll see, uh, for example, let's talk about your Instagram feed or your TikTok feed. This is where all of your posts end up going. Same with your page feed on Facebook. So if I zoom in, it's probably a little hard to see. So you post your content. The social media platform is going to show that content to your audience members who engage with you the most often because obviously they're interested. So if they happen to save or share or like or anything like that, that's a good thing. If they happen to comment or like, that's also a good thing. If they just scroll on by, that's a bad thing. When they scroll on by, what ends up happening is the algorithm is told, oh, they didn't like that. And it starts to track those things. And if you have a lot of people who are just scrolling on by, you're going to notice that your uh, engagement goes way down, your visibility of your page and your accounts goes way down. So when they comment, you know, then it's like, all right, well, I'm going to show this to more followers. And so it's like the B team of followers, those who don't engage all of the time, but are definitely still there. Most of us are probably the B team followers for a lot of accounts that we follow. We're not really engaging all of the time, but when we see it, we're like, oh yeah. And we like try to remember to engage, especially because we're more attuned to that as small business owners. So from there, the question is like, what happens? Uh, are these people now going to like or comment, save or share? Great, fantastic. This tells the algorithm like this content is top notch. Let's put it on the bigger page so that more people have a chance to see it. So if people like and follow and everything, that's fantastic. You've gained new followers. You've gotten a big reach. That's what the algorithm likes. <clears throat> if they don't, then your content isn't pushed any further and it just kind of ends up dead in the water. That doesn't mean it'll never be pushed further uh, because there's so many factors such as someone finding your content through your hashtags, um, maybe a trending audio, maybe just because someone happened to find your account who's new and shared it, all of those things kind of factor in. So each type of content has a little bit different patterns, whether we're talking about a reel slash TikTok a story that's posted to your accounts that only lasts for 24 hours or a static post. Now, in addition to your audience's engagement, the most important thing is your engagement. So I also included this little graphic of just some things to do before and after you post. Now, I didn't mention this in our calendar, but I will tell it to you now. There is no perfect time to post on social media. The ideal time to post is when you are actually able to be active for five to 10 minutes and engage with you know, your followers and non-followers. You wanna make sure that you are seeking out individuals that are following the hashtags that you use that are relevant to your business. Don't use random hashtags, use curated hashtags that are relevant to your business. And that like go watch people's stories, like their posts, et cetera. That just helps you gain some new visibility. 
if you are actively using social media, you have likely experienced when some random account that you don't follow has done that. They've tried to follow you or they've liked some of your posts or they've watched your stories, whatever it is. That is all engagement that they are trying to get your attention because they believe that they are an account that you would be interested in. And that is all positively feeding the algorithm. It lets the algorithm know that you are there and you're active and you are here for, you know, the, you are here for it. And they say, awesome, this person is ready to go. Let's post their content. Let's promote it. You know, they want to get it out there. So you want to do everything that you can to really feed that engagement cycle. So these graphics are just kind of designed to help you with that. Next, I break down each kind of post so that you understand like what exactly are you supposed to do with each kind of post because, you know, a live video um, or a story, they're all a little bit different. So I've kind of explained it here and I've given some examples. You know, this is like an example of a story. A story, you can do like a live video on it. You can do a impromptu film or you can just do what I did here, which was I shared a photo of a tutorial that we did and I linked the tutorial. Uh, whatever it is, it's just easy. With stories, you're looking to get someone to just like it, and that is a positive feed to the algorithm. Um, a post is, you know, a single image product, and a carousel is a multi-image, uh, a multi-image post. So they're similar, but they're different because it's one graphic versus multiple. Don't ask me why they needed to have separate names, but they do. And there's a format to how you should do them. You should do a hook if it's relevant text expanding on your caption, sorry, text expanding on whatever's in your photo in the caption, and then add a call to action and hashtags again, as long as everything is relevant. So this was just an example of an introduce, you know, yourself post. And I included some fun facts on the graphic, added some more information in the caption. It prompted my audience to tell me about themselves and included hashtags that are relevant to my niche. So in this case, this is on the sub that account. So I'm trying to target crafters who are looking for tutorials, looking for inspiration, who are into sublimation. And I use some hashtags for that. Don't worry if you feel confused about hashtags because I have a list of 1500 plus hashtags and you really just need to go to that list, which is right here. It's the spreadsheet you have access to and you can scroll through this and be like, okay, I'm trying to target coffee lovers, for example, or it's Christmas time or whatever. And you can scroll through here and you can select them. Now, this list is not like 1000% complete. We are continuing to update it and add to it. That's why it's on Google Docs. Of course, if you have access to it, do not share it. Um, <clears throat> but if you have a specific product that you need added key hashtags for, we do the hashtag research and we put them in here. That means we're going to social media, we're looking for what are the most used hashtags and we are adding them to this list because you want the ones that are actually getting traction. There's also a tab here for month slash holiday tags and this is in order. So you can see like January, February, February is also Black History Month and Valentine's Day. So it's there, March, St. Patrick's Day, April, Easter, spring. So we've got both seasonal, monthly, and holiday related. And that way, again, if you know we're planning stuff for January, you can come in and be like, all right, January is the new year. We'll go ahead and copy some of those and add those in. So this is um, this hashtag spreadsheet. Again, we're going to continue to keep adding to this. If you have product ideas, let us know. Email me. I did include my email address on here um, and we can do that for you. So a carousel, as I said, is a multi post is a multi-slide post. So you can see that's what this looks like. And they're a little bit different because your first one is going to be a hook and your second, your last one is going to be your call to action. Now you'll still include some of this in the caption as I did here, but this is just a nice, easy way to get people to keep sliding. And an important part of the algorithm is how much time uh, anyone spends on your content. So if they have to swipe through these, that's causing them to spend more time. You can only have a maximum of 10 slides, but just so you know, that's another option. And of course we have Reels and TikTok or even YouTube Shorts. All of those are short format videos, which means they are anywhere from 60 seconds to I think two minutes, depending on the platform. And usually they're just like a video clip. Now, when Reels and TikTok took off, 
back during the pandemic, so towards the end of 2020 and into 2021, what we were seeing was that in order to gain traction from them, you constantly had to be like dancing on camera and things like that. We have moved away from that. That is great for influencers, but for the average business, it's actually not the best option. The algorithm absolutely had a huge upswing from that, but we've seen it come way down. And the new trend for social media marketing going into 2024 and 2025 is to just use a short format video. Your your video can be anything. So if you happen to go to this particular post on the sub that Instagram account, you will see that this reel was literally just a real, like a slow motion video of my office. And I did a point of view caption. That's your that's your hook. That's to stop the scroll. Um, depending on the content that the reel is supposed to be focused on, you may put something like read more in the caption. What is so great about the new format that works best for small businesses is that you can take a video of your product. If you're selling digital designs or don't have a product made, you can use video mockups from from platforms like Placeit. They're fantastic. They have tons of great video mockups. Um, but all you're going to have to do is just in, incorporate a video that is under 30 seconds. It can be longer if you want, but it doesn't have to be. Or you can compile a bunch of photos and set them to music. You don't have to worry about dancing on camera and doing all of that. Like It doesn't really take a lot. It takes a small video clip and um, or some pictures or a video mock-up and some text. And that's it. And you can create engagement from that. And people are actually more inclined to watch uh, and more inclined to stay on that story just because they enjoy watching you. It's not that people don't enjoy watching people dance anymore, but they are a little burnt out on it because it seems like it's always going on. Um, you don't need a catchy transition if you're not an influencer. You can simply just show a behind the scenes of your office, show yourself packing in order. Um, little video clips like that are fantastic. So next I break down just a couple of things that you should know about social media marketing, which is all the things that I've been saying. You, Your audience wants to connect. Um, you know, in with this content calendar, you get access to the 1500 hashtags, the 60 calls to action, the 150 hooks, and then our content bank, which will be added to every single month to go alongside of this calendar. And I'll show you that in just a second. Um, so just some quick things about social media, all the things I said, there's no special time to post. Your audience wants to connect. All of the post ideas here are designed to facilitate that connection. You can continue to post your product and your product for sale and flash sales and all of that stuff. But this is really designed to help you connect because if your sales are down drastically, if you are struggling, it is because you are not marketing your product. It is because you are solely trying to sell. You're probably trying to sell whatever is trending instead of niching down your business, which is something I've been harping on for the last two years. Um, but however you run your business is your choice. But if you want your products to sell, you have to be marketing them. You cannot just be selling them. Selling them doesn't win you friends. Marketing and building connection does. People want to relate to you. They want to feel like they are more than an order number. So um, I also mentioned, you know, in here that Canva, Canva is an amazing resource for your social media graphics. They have tons of pre-made stuff, stuff that's easy for you to enter in your own text content, format it for all types of platforms. You really can't go wrong with it. And their pro plan, I think, is only $14 a month if you choose to pay for it, which includes a social media scheduler. So that's the best price on the market. I have been using um, OneUp app for the last four years, loved them, so happy with them until they increased the price by 300%. And then I was like, ooh, this is not really worth my money. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love the function and the flexibility, but not for $60 a month. Canva is very affordable for that pro plan option, so I highly recommend taking advantage of it. And even if you don't, they have tons of free content as well. Leverage that to make your posts look a little bit prettier and nicer. Um, I mentioned place it before. So whether you make physical products, um, if you do anything that's like vinyl sublimation, white toner, or direct to garment printing, if you're in the print industry of crafters, then place it is a great resource to help you get some um, 
to help you get just mock-ups. If you haven't checked it out, check it out. There is all kinds of standalone mock-ups, video mock-ups, et cetera. You basically just upload your design, size it, and you're good to go. It's fantastic. Don't stress about the numbers. Um, a lot of people get frustrated because they're like, oh, I've been doing this for six weeks and I've only gotten 10 new followers. That is 10 followers that you didn't have. That's 10 followers you might not have gotten. Remember that everything compounds when you are consistent. And this is the number one thing I tell you guys all of the time. You cannot duck and run with your marketing. You can't just post something and then not come back for three weeks. If you want consistent sales, you need to do consistent work. And this calendar is designed to help you do the work consistently because every single day you can literally look at that calendar and say, this is what I need to post today. You can plan that two weeks in advance, a month in advance, six months in advance if you want, because you have all of the information here. You can always be thinking about it and it should only take you maybe five minutes a day um, to really put everything together. This calendar is not designed to be difficult or complex. It's designed to be very user-friendly. If you need some tools just for um, like knowing what to, uh, what to sh like use for filming and whatnot, I do have that on my Amazon affiliate storefront. You can check out all the things that are there. These are only things that I have purchased that I actually use. There's nothing there that I'm just like, oh, that looks like a good thing to spend money on. It's only things that I actually have been using for the last couple of years. The same iPad mount that I use, the iPad mount I have for hanging from my ceiling, um, the microphone that I use for tutorials like this. I don't have a good microphone for my iPad. That's something I should get, but that's neither here nor there. Um, I have like a boom arm, arm mount that hangs from my ceiling for the iPad. I also have, it also has an attachment for the phone. I also have a separate phone mount. Like I mostly film with the iPad, but always you can use both. Now you can also just hold your phone and do little video clips as well. It's not like you need the mounts, but all the different mounts that like attach to your workbench and things like that, they can really... Um, just help make things a little bit easier for you. So I put all the things that I have I have purchased and used for all of our tutorial filming in the last five and a half years on my Amazon storefront for you to be able to check out. Um, our hashtags hooks all that is located at the end. Now, a really common question that you guys often have is when am I even supposed to start promoting products if you sell stuff that is holiday or season related? A good rule of thumb is outlined here. So for small holidays, Plan your products eight weeks in advance. Market your products six weeks in advance. For occasions, roughly eight weeks in advance to the season. So um, engagements are typically happening. The most engagements happen between Christmas Eve, New Year's Eve, and Valentine's Day. So you want to be planning to promote stuff about like being engaged in general once you finish your Christmas stuff. So early December that is when you would really start marketing those kind of products and you would keep promoting those kind of products pretty much until March. Weddings, retirement, graduation, that's all starts in May. So sometime in like late April is when you would start really kind of focusing on, on those categories and starting to put out content that relates to those. So I do recommend planning a little bit more in advance because you want to sprinkle that in to your other content. And again, we dive more in depth of this sort of thing in the social media private coaching group. That's, you know, kind of the whole idea there is to really tailor things versus the content calendar, which is designed to, if you're a little bit more self-sufficient. So I did try and include as much information to really help you make sure you have the things that you need. Okay, so then when you move in, What's going to happen is you're going to see a calendar for every single month. And on this calendar, let's kind of zoom in so you can see a little bit better. <laughs> the first thing that you'll see for the month is a little a little tidbit, right? Like some things to keep in mind for this month. So for example, January, consumer spending is down due to holiday fatigue. But keep in mind that there are things coming up in February that people care about. Valentine's Day, Super Bowl, Black History Month, specifically those three things, biggest things that you can be marketing towards if you sell products that are based on um, like collections, seasons, occasions, time of year, et cetera. So you can start planning those. You can give yourself a few weeks break, just focus on building connection with your audience and then start working those products into your uh, information. Every calendar is just a reminder here that 
in addition to all of the stuff that is here, you should be posting one or two sales specific posts a week, post it to your stories um, or make it a single post and don't forget to engage. So this is always the same, but your, your little tidbit for the month is always a little bit different. So when you go over and look at the calendar, you're gonna see different ideas for each day and it tells you what kind of posts that you are going to be doing. So this one is a reel or a TikTok video. <clears throat> And you say, we're on New Year's Day. It says, talk about your goals and New Year's resolutions for life and business. So you can go about this two ways. You, when you go back up to my little thing that tells you what's a reel, it's a short format video, this is what you do, et cetera. So you're gonna look back at that and you're gonna say, okay, how am I gonna get someone's attention with this? Well, you can just get on camera and you can say, hey guys, let me introduce myself. Here's what I'm planning for this year. I'd love to hear what you're planning. And it can be as simple as that. Or you can do a video clip of one of your products that you plan on promoting for Valentine's Day or packing an order, anything like that, any business related video clip. And you can put a caption on your screen that says something like, um, you know, 2023 was a great year, but I've got some new resolutions for 2024. And then read the caption to find out. So you wanna direct people to the caption and there you can expand upon it. And again, this is what I described back up, back up here, where'd it go? This one, you know, that's exactly what I described here. So see your hook is on the video screen with your caption and your call to actions and hashtags in the caption area. So very easy, you, your hook on the screen was just that text. And you can use a text that you come up with or you can check out some of the hooks that we have to help you stop the scroll, so to speak. Uh, let's see, that's hashtags, um, viral video captions and hooks, okay. So if you come down to this section and you'll see that these are kind of broken up into different um, ideas. So personal experience and transformations, um, okay, so this would be a great one for that first post. So it says, I started a blank at blank with blank. And so you could say, I started my business uh, at or in 2018 with just a vinyl plotter and it's grown this much. In 2023, I had resolutions to achieve this check the caption for my resolutions for 2024. That kind of format is exactly what you're aiming to do. So I've got all of these, this fantastic list for you guys of different types of um, captions or hooks, like hooks that you can use. You're always gonna add your own text to it. These are just to give you an idea of what you can use or you can look through and be like, oh, well, that's the perfect one to use with this. But it takes a lot of that guesswork out of it. So there are, 150 of these, I believe. And you can see they're different. There's like point of view, um, fascination and intrigue, controversial opinions, because people love a little controversial, or they even love if you just say something is controversial, even if it's not. Okay, uh, let's go back up to our January calendar that we were looking at. So you'll see that for each day, there is a little bit of a different idea to you know, for something to do. So sometimes it's a post. And when you have a post, you could choose to make a graphic in a place like Canva, or you can just post a picture of your product and then ask your question in the caption. Um, you know, there is, there is a lot of flexibility here to use what you have. And I say in my little thing here on every single month, incorporate passive mention or showcase of your product where possible. So even though these posts here, these all these different content ideas are designed to help you facilitate connection, help people engage with your content, it doesn't mean that you don't share the pictures of your product. You incorporate them into this. So like this next real idea, it says, dispel some cliches you constantly hear about your niche or industry. So if I was going to do this, um, I might use a video clip of a tumbler that I've made 
Uh, or maybe even I'd use part of a tutorial clip that I have where I was like on screen and I would just use a caption along the lines of three things that I think are cliche in the sublimation industry. And then in the caption, I would elaborate on that. Um, I, or I would just talk about one <laughs> and I would say like one of the things I don't like about the craft industry is crafting influencers and sorry, not sorry if you're a crafting influencer, but crafting influencers are 99% of the time have never been handmade business owners. This is one of the things that really frustrates me because they're usually telling you how to make something with the worst materials possible just so they can make a dollar instead of actually caring. And I want you guys to succeed. So I care about this. This is why I'm passionate about it. Like I would do much more flowery words, but I put that in and then again, refer to that hashtag spreadsheet, make my hashtags. So you'll see for every day of the year, there is a different one. Now, in addition to this, there is also a content bank that you'll be able to access for like each month's worth of content. So right now we just have like December done. So let's look at December 10th. December 10th says, share a collection of Christmas traditions from around the world. We're gonna use a carousel. So for posts like this, you can utilize the content bank. And you'll also be able to find stuff in the content bank that is for like an inspirational quote if you needed that for like a reel or a solid post or whatever. So for this example, we have this Christmas traditions. There is a link to the content bank down here. I'm not going to share it because I don't want people to have access to it who don't actually, you know, purchase the content calendar. Um, but when we come to the content bank, you can find like right now we just have December up. So we've got Christmas and Hanukkah because there's posts relating to that. And if we come in here and we ch come to global Christmas traditions, you will see some pre-made graphics. Now this has what you need. So let's do large icons. We have this, did you know, you can pick three or four of these. And then you can do the, did you learn something at the end? Now I try to do two different versions so that you just have something that fits your aesthetic better for any type of ideas like this. And I'll always have this, did you know, included um, in the share thing. But also what's included in the content bank is a link. So if you come to this little note, you're gonna see this. And you can copy that and you can paste that into your web browser and it will bring you to this document. So if you want to add on um, your Instagram, TikTok, whatever handle, if you want to change up something, if you just want to change the background, you can do that here. So I've incorporated those links so that you have a little bit of flexibility um, with that as well. So you can find what works for you, but the majority of the work is done. That's the whole idea. So this content calendar is meant to make things easier, to give you what you need, allow you to get it done in five minutes a day and spend 10 minutes worth of engagement and have your marketing done and keep growing your business. So there's 365 days worth of content. There is a post for every single day, I think, except for New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve is the only day I didn't make a post for because if you've been working hard all year, you deserve to rest. So as I mentioned, there is um, the link to like quotes and stuff will all be in that content bank. It will be relevant to what is on the calendar. So that's what you need to keep in mind. So on December 15th, the January content bank will be added to the special link. And in that you will find everything that is relevant for January. So if we go back and look at January, all right, the things that will be in that include, uh, da -da. okay, we'll have inspirational quote ideas that there'll be a list for that. There will be MLK quotes. There'll be some graphics for that. Since these are posts, there will be graphics like already ready to go that you can just, you know, save and upload to your account. Um, there will be some unique ideas for Valentine's Day put together. So you can utilize those and let's see, uh, that might be it for this month. I mean, every month doesn't have, most months just have like two or three that are like that, but it still saves you some of the work. So I think that the rest of these are all things that you would come up with. And you know, this is just to give you a little bit of a structure. So for example, Thursday, uh, or here we go, Saturday, 
Share your opinion for or against a current trend relating to your product or audience. Um, maybe if I was talking about that, I would say that um, I'm really against the using vinyl on sublimation products or one of the, oh, I'm against using DTF powder with sublimation ink because it doesn't deliver longstanding results. Like that might be an opinion that I share and why, and I can do that on a story or a live video. Live videos you can save to your feed, stories you cannot. So that's just something to keep in mind. Do whichever makes you happy. You definitely do not have to do a live video. And even if you're doing something like this, you can again, share a video of your product, share a video of you packing an order, making a product, whatever. And then you can just put a, something on the screen. Again, it's all designed to be flexible. No dancing, no always getting your face on the camera. Do what, do what works for you. And if you're looking to see how I incorporate it, make sure you're following both the sub that account and the of love and ship lab account. So this is the whole calendar. Um, and then, like I said, there is your list of all of these hooks that you can use. And then the last section is your call to actions. So the whole idea here is just to really streamline this give you as much as you need to compile your entire social media strategy for your craft related business for 2024 and going into 2025. That is a look at the, oh, whoops. Sorry about that. Oh no, now I'm opening Affinity Designer. What have we done? Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Um, this is a look at the 365 social media content calendar for craft businesses. So if you want to purchase this on its own and just have that, please go ahead and do that. Take advantage of this resource. As, um, and then if, if you want to have more one-on-one -on -one in depth, be able to see things a week in advance of how I'm doing it and talk about it and get feedback on your own posts, then join the private coaching group. Again, that is a paid group. Um, it's just a one-time payment. It's not like it's a month or anything like that. And you have those two options to really help you grow your business in 2024 and going into 2025. So we are all looking to grow, right? Um, recessions are hard, but the best way to get through recessions is with smart marketing. I reiterate again, there's probably nothing wrong with your product and there is ample customers out there. Your customer base that you've been chronically selling is likely burnt out from being sold and maybe even they just don't have the money. That happens. That's just part of business but there are always more customers. There are always more people that you can reach. Um, you know, changing the structure of your business, offering more products, offering wholesale, all of those things can really change the trajectory of how your business goes. I always encourage you guys to do what works best for you. And I created this with the really the best idea of what so many people are facing, that you are trying to juggle home, work, family, and your business, and you need to get stuff done without abandoning it, and you want to be able to see results over the course of the next year, and you want it to be easy. So I've done all of that. It is in this calendar. Super affordable. Definitely check it out. So that was the whole look at this. Thank you so much for joining us.